Advanced classification in Abbey FlexiCapture. We'll discuss the value of FlexiCapture classification, some common use cases, different classification profiles and quality metrics, and we'll also discuss a quick way to create a classification solution in FlexiCapture. And finally, we'll touch on the ability to reuse machine learning training results in different projects. Let's start with an introduction of classification. The main value of classification in FlexiCapture is that it allows us to sort documents on the fly without creating complex Flexi layouts. Here are some use cases where we can use classification. You can identify document types, identify topics of text messages or emails perhaps sent to a service desk. You can perform separation in a flow of incoming documents and help ensure that all documents are in a document set. And you can use it to help cherry pick documents that need attention in a flow of documents. And classification is used if we want to enable field extraction training for different document variants. In this case, we first train classifiers to distinguish between the different variants, and then we perform field extraction training, creating a field extraction training batch for each variant. And now we can discuss some fairly common usage scenarios. Classification can be used in banking primarily for mortgage documents and other loan types as well as for categorizing documents for customer onboarding. And in insurance, we classify claims to help fraud detection. And in many industries, classification is used for email automation and sorting, service desk request automation, and help with various HR processes. In classification, we're using both convolutional neural networks as well as support vector machines. A CNN is a multi-layer network trained to perform a specific task using classification. Transfer learning uses the gain knowledge to solve a given problem using documents, say hundreds of thousands of documents, and then applying that learned classification algorithm to a smaller set of user-provided documents. And a support vector machine, an SVM, is a supervised machine learning algorithm that learns by example for classification or regression problems. Abby's classification models can be trained using different profiles. A profile defines how text and images from the document set will be used for training depending on the scenario. So we have image-based, text-based, and combined classification profiles. Image classification relies on convolutional neural networks pre-trained by Abby on hundreds of thousands of documents like we just discussed in our last slide. Transfer learning technology allows users to train the image classifier on their own documents with only a few samples. Text-based classification, otherwise known as content classification, is artificial intelligence technology that is capable of reading texts in natural language and understanding their meanings. So it goes beyond statistical comparisons of buckets of words, if you will. So a certain set of words belong to a certain class, another set of words belong to another class, but we go beyond that. And we use semantic analysis to essentially weave together phrases. So now we're also comparing, if you will, buckets of phrases. The combined profile uses both text and image and can work in two modes, fast or thorough. And it's defined clearly right here. The text classifier is not applied if image classification results are high, highly confident. So obviously then you can skip the full page OCR and all the text-based classification algorithms. So that will be a speed improvement. And I might add, if these classification profiles aren't meeting your needs, you can go to Flexi Layout Studio and add rules to further enhance classification effectiveness. And that's essentially adding a header. And this slide simply illustrates the combination of using a text-based and an image-based approach, where there's rankings of confidence levels for different matching, and the combined, the combination of those rankings give you your final result. 
Let's see how the classification model operates with multi-page documents. The classifier is applied to each page. A given class can correspond to any page of the section or the first page of the section. The first page always means the beginning of a new document. So the first page here is classified as class A, any page position. It is not the end of the document, so we keep classifying. The next page wasn't classified and stays unknown, so we continue classifying. The third page is classified as A, any page, so it's still the same document. The next page is classified as A, but it's a first page. This designates a border, and a new document is started. If we keep going, the next document is classified as class B, which is a different class from the previous page, so again we have a separation, a border. So to summarize this approach, the classifier starts a new document when either a page is classified with a different class or with a first page position. You can train the classifier to work with images, with text, or both. To train the classifier, you have to create a representative set of images. This means the classifier needs samples of all variations of images that will appear in production. This, of course, will improve classifier results. And regarding small distortions such as skew and other defects, if in production these defects are corrected before classification, then don't include them in the sample set for classifier training. If the classifier has to process such documents, then do include them. Doing that will make the sample set representative, which is our goal.